Today's Wednesday. It's uh, just after 10 o'clock. I left Cebu about 8.30. I think it was about 8.30. And I've been on the road now for an, over an hour and a half. And I'm on my way to Dumaguete. Um, Henry, Henry Velez is in Dumaguete. Uh, Ned and Michelle are in Dumaguete. And I've already talked to, uh, to uh, Henry. And we're, we've arranged for, to have dinner tomorrow night at his favorite burger spot. He's got a got a killer burger spot. It's supposed to have the best burgers in the Philippines. So I'm gonna meet Henry again. If you remember last year, it was last year that when I met Henry, and we had a, had a great lunch there at SM City in Ilo Ilo. So I'm going down going down there now. It's kind of an impromptu uh, meeting. Uh, I've got some friends in Ilo Ilo. Uh, if you remember Shane from my cockfighting video, she, she I, I, put, I introduced her to an American that moved here, a retired veteran that moved here, and they ended up as a couple for now. Uh, they're doing get along really well. So she she went from being a tour guide to uh, really close friends, and so they're in. They're in uh, Dumaguete right now, scouting around for an apartment because Ilo, they, 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 they like Dumaguete over, over Ilo Ilo. So I'm going to go down there and meet them. They let me know they're there, so I'm going to try to have a meal for all six of us uh, and try to get that on video. It would be kind of cool to have me and Ned and Michelle and Henry and Lynn all, all together for a meal. Uh, this is an exciting trip for my Philippine journey. Uh, the, the traffic here in Cebu is a little tough. Uh, it took an hour and a half to get here. I'm south of a little place called Parkar. I'm not, not quite sure where, where it is, but I picked a really scenic spot here in the road. You'll notice all the trees up here. Uh, the traffic finally lightened up a little bit. We've got some really pretty jeepneys here too. But uh, I'm here to, you know, I just want to let you guys know that this is another kind of an impromptu trip. Uh, I plan on going getting on back to Cebu City here shortly and then I'm gonna to go to Camotes Islands and then on over to Bohol and possibly into Leyte so this is kind of an exciting trip uh, I want to share this this stop with you and I'm gonna make a couple more stops on the way to Dumaguete uh, I'll probably stop at the ferry and do a little more filming uh, I can see the ocean I'm traveling all the way down the National Road uh, straight down to Dumaguete I don't know what it's like on the mountains. I don't know what this road's like, whether we're gonna have the steep mountains that we had before. But uh, I'm enjoying this trip once I'm finally out of Cebu City. The traffic is really bad. It just didn't stop. And it seems like every town I've come to, they've got concrete construction in the middle of the road. Everything narrows down to one lane and traffic both ways have gotta stop in order to get through there. So y'all hang with me, ride with me, and let's see what else in my Philippine journey is gonna find for you on this road down to Dumaguete. Thank you for watching. Hello. Okay, I've traveled a little further down the road and I'm in a little place called Car Car. Uh, I thought I'd passed it already, uh, but I thought it was just south of Cebu, but uh, because the traffic's been so slow, it, it's hard to uh, hard to judge the distances. Uh, but what happened is I've crossed, I come up to this little road here, this little road sign, and this intersection, and I've got one, two, three, four roads here in this, this, this intersection. Uh, car car proper, Barili, Sibonga, Iowan, Iwan, Iwayan. So I got out my little trusty GPS, my Maps ME, and it showed me which way to go. I'm supposed to go this way and go on down to Sibonga, past Gaisano. That's going to be the uh, Gaisano Grand Mall here in Car Car. I'm right here in the middle of the city of, of downtown. I'm doing battle with the rain. I've got some rain clouds up here. I'm dancing with the rain all the way. I've been rained on a couple of times. I do have a, a raincoat now or in, in the back in my in my carrier back here. So if it gets really bad, I'll either find a place to park or I'll get out and get my rain gear. I've got my backpack secured here pretty good. It's I've got it sealed up and I've only got one backpack this time, so I'm good to go for, for a little bit of rain. Uh, I don't want to be in a, in a heavy rain, but uh, let me get back on the road. I'm in car car now, and we're going to continue on down to Dumaguete. Okay, I've stopped. 
Okay, I'll stop a little further down in Car Car. I'm working my way through the city. And this is kind of a quaint little town. I don't see a whole lot of the pollution that we had up in Cebu. Of course, it's a much smaller city. But uh, there's a lot of Jesus here. Look at a lot of tricycles in here. Hello. There's tons and tons of tricycles. And from what I understand, that's what I'm going to be seeing down in Dumaguete, too. Um, we got a nice fountain here, or a nice, nice park in the middle, a little plaza. That's their little plaza here for the city. We've got a couple of locals in there right now enjoying it. But there's a lot, this is a cute little town. But a lot of tricycles, a lot of motorcycles, a lot of tricycles. Okay, we'll give you a shot of this little town. Uh, and we'll move on down the road a little further. Hey, look you guys. I, I know you guys don't like me driving with one hand, but I'm coming through here. I'm south of Car Car. I finally got out into a little bit of open open area without all these, these uh, start and stop in these small cities. And I'm traveling through here, and I'm also getting rained on. But I'm traveling through here, and it just got really beautiful. Uh, the landscaping here is so lush. Uh, so I'm going to try to give you just a few minutes, uh, one-handed here. Uh, right here next to the beach, there's a, there's a hill over to my left, a ravine. And the beach uh, and the water area is just over there. But I want you guys to see this. I'm hoping I'm blocking some of the wind noise. I'm using my fingers and kind of shiggling the hole here. But this is really pretty through here. Nice clean roads, wide enough roads, uh, asphalt here. Normally it's concrete, but we got asphalt here. Ah, I see some pretty good thunderstorms ahead of me. So, I don't know uh, if I'm going to get to Dumaguete. Uh, dry, anyway, I got to get there. I'm too far now to turn around. This is beautiful through here. New home construction going on. Look at all these coconut trees. Got a coconut plantation over here. And then you got a banana plantation over here. And all kinds of pretty flowers. Pretty trees, lots of landscaping. This is really what makes the Philippines what it is today. All this tropical beauty. And of course the beauty of the people here. I've just entered another small town here. I'm not sure the name of it. Uh, but this is a pretty quaint little town. I thought I'd get a picture of it. This is really pretty. Look at these big old trees here. These things are giants. They've been here for hundreds of years. Look at the size of those things. My gosh. And we're in an, and we're almost out of the town just as fast as we got in it. Yeah, I got a system on my camera now. I don't have to, to put it away and stick it in my pocket. I keep it on my lanyard and I can just throw it up and get you a quick clip. And don't fuss at me about the one-handed business. It's not going to do any good. Just enjoy my videos, please.